Hi, welcome to the Connect Smart Home. Today we're looking at a couple of new products in our sensor range. Uh, we've got a PIR smart motion sensor and a smart magnetic motion sensor. Okay, so for the PIR, we've got uh, a couple of different types of sensors you can normally find in the marketplace. So a PIR stands for passive infrared and the other type that you might, might find around is an active infrared sensor. So the difference between the two is an active infrared sensor sends out uh, a type of heat or light style signal and it would detect changes in that heat or light. Okay, so it's active. Uh, with the passive, you'll find that um, the device just sits there and looks for changes in the room. So if it detects heat and light, uh, that's when the sensor will go off. So one is passive, one is active. That's really the only difference. Okay, now for these two products, um, really the only difference between the two is the magnetic mount. Other than that, um, pretty much identical. Okay, so for both of these products, you will find the uh, product code or the model number on the bottom, on the barcode. So CSH-MAGMOSENS. And for this one, we've got CSH-MO sensor. Okay, so if you are calling us for support, make sure you have one of those codes handy. Now we'll just look at setting these up and some general use scenarios along with what's included in the box. Okay, so for both of these products, uh, uh, the contents of the box are identical, aside from the sensor itself. So you will find a uh, instruction manual and some just some mounting options okay so you get that in the box now for the uh, motion sensor we've got this little device here so it will come with um, a little bracket that you can fit now for your mounting options you'd obviously put screw or the 3m tape over here and then you would just fit that and then you'd be able to sort of move that around okay and for the magnetic version we've got here okay very similar uh, style sensor so on the back here we've just got a bit of a magnet and on this particular device we've also got a magnet which will just mount and then you'll just be able to move that position that around so this you would attach uh, somewhere to your liking with the with the included accessories okay so let's just go ahead and um, pair these up to the connect smart home app and we'll just see uh, how that goes okay so here I have an iPhone with the connect smart home app already installed uh, please check our previous video on how to install that and get registered okay so quite simply we're going to add a device um, now these both these products uh, will live over in the security and sensor uh, range so you just want to look at sensor Wi-Fi okay so we'll just be using that okay so there's some instructions on making sure that the indicator light is rapidly blinking before we go through the pairing process so we'll just do that now okay so let's look at this particular one here so both will be identical you'll just need to turn that unscrew that and that will come away Let me just show you on this one. It's exactly the same. Okay. And you'll find a little tab here. Oops. Let's just uh, stop that. Okay. So we'll find a little tab here on the battery, which is uh, stopping the contact. Okay. So you just want to pull that out. And 
now that your battery's got contact. If you don't find that you've got a quick blinking blue light, you just want to press and hold this uh, little reset button here for about five seconds to get that flashing blue light. So because this one's flashing, it means it is in pairing mode. Okay, so again, it's identical for this particular model. So we'll just show you how to pair one. Okay, so now that we've got that flashing blue light, we want to confirm on our app that we've got that we can see that okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in the password here so please make sure you've got a Wi-Fi network handy uh, in your home or office so you can connect your smartphone to that so we're just gonna go ahead and connect our smartphone to our Wi-Fi network and you will see this little progress indicator come up searching for the flashing uh, light on the device so you will find that the behavior of the light will change if the device has been found. So as you can see, it's getting a bit slower now and the blue is solid, which means it's been found. Okay, so there we go. Now over here, you can go ahead and rename it. Uh, we'll just call ours Magneto and we'll go completed. Now this little notification is your sensor. So we just put the volume on our phone up. Okay, so we'll just turn this sensor around just so we can not trigger it while we're doing the rest of the video. And then we can just show you some couple other functions of the app. So over here, we've got the little history icon. Now you will see a history of any alerts that you may have received or missed. Okay, the notice is over here, you'll find the types of alerts that you're going to get. PIR alarm is basically it will sense some motion and you'll get your alerts. The low voltage is basically if the battery on the device is running out, you'll get an alert uh, indicating that you know the device might go offline uh, if not attended to soon. Okay, so you can turn both of those on or off just by tapping the little icons there, and that's your little battery indicator there on the right. Okay, so next on this little top right hand corner icon, the edit icon, we can change the device name, location, just some basic information. You can remove the device or restore the factory settings down here. Okay, and um, so quite simply, you want to um, just we just do some tests of the motion sensing. So we'll just uh, put something in front there. We should hopefully see a um, alert pop up there okay so as you can see a little um, alert came up on this uh, phone okay you can enable um, sound so make sure you, you know you have the um, media volume turned up on your device uh, I'm not going to do that for the phone because it will um, play some tricks with our video that we're recording so we'll just uh, Okay, well, that's pretty much it for all the functionality, guys. Check it out and stay connected. Yeah.